hey what's up everyone this is Ram here welcome back and as we were doing some HTML actually as we were working on some HTML we were we have done the paragraph tag and some attributes this was the it was the value of um, name of the attribute and value of the attribute now we have to move on and uh, now uh, first of all yeah okay so by moving on let me delete this code from here and I'm going to tell you about another element or tag of uh, HTML and this is bold to bold the text as we decorate the text in MS Word Microsoft Word we can decorate the text within our web also so here we are uh, going to decorate the text by using some tags and the first tag here let me write something I am, I am learning now I want to say HTML so I have mentioned this B tag it's me bold and it has a closing tag also and it is co closed now it is closed twice so this is a paragraph tag this is our text this is the B tag to emphasize or to make this HTML bold and this is the P tag closed this is a closing bold tag and this is a closing P tag let's save it go back to the browser and I'm sorry live server is taking time but it's done okay so this is what we have done before the attribute and all that and this is what just avoid the this one and look at this text I am learning HTML this HTML is in bold and why it is bold because uh, let me delete sorry let me delete this one to make it more prominent and here we have only this paragraph tag and within our paragraph this is the bold text we have by using this B tag this B tag opening and closing okay so this HTML is bold here you can see this here okay now there is another um, another option another tag which I love to learn web uh, sorry I love to learn web designing and here I would like to use italic font and this italic font would be shown in italic style and let's go to the browser and you can see the designing it is in sta um, italic style or the italic uh, styling of or italic decoration is applied on this designing text so here the B bold tag is applied and here the italic text is applied okay I hope you understand it until now there is something else uh, let's delete it and let's concentrate on our other and on our next tag and that uh, tag is superscript and subscript in mathematics if you guys remember we have a formula a square plus b square plus 2ab it's a very simple formula and the basic formula and uh, over that a there is a square that is square is a superscript is written in a superscript form so we can give that form or that style 
to in our within our website we can use that subtext so let me see let me make a paragraph and let's write the formula and the formula was a and I just want to say superscript for superscript s u p and I should write two and it's okay because it's a square and if I want to have B then let me write B and have to say square sorry um, so sub or SUP and then I have to see two and it's closed let's go back to the browser and check so you can see a square and b square sorry I didn't write uh, the plus but let's write and the spelling of right is also not, but don't it's not our uh, it's not an English class that we have to concentrate on the spellings just focus on these things the, these are the superscript okay now there is a subscript also and this time okay let me correct my spellings and here let's go and write um, H and the subscript is for the subscript we should say SUB I'm writing the formula of water H2O okay let's save it and go back to the browser and you can see H2O it's a um, those who of course everybody of us we know about this H2 it's a formula of water so we have this is in a subscript and this is a superscript the way to write the superscript or subscript type of things in HTML or CSS we can use SUP and SUB tags okay now the next thing uh, let me delete this code and there is something else which is known as breaks or line breaks so line let me see write it in heading okay and the heading is line breaks so there are two kinds of line breaks horizontal line horizontal and the simple breaks like it's a br tag this one and this br tag and we have a hr tag horizontal lines so let's write something first p see we are okay we are learning html i want this html uh, let me show you first let's go to the browser and here we are learning HTML I want this HTML should be in the next line so what I I will do here I just simply add this BR tag here I'm going to save it and here it is so the HTML is in the next line there is another line which is known as horizontal line and how we can use that horizontal line we can say that I I don't want to learn HTML so here I want to show this HTML below the line below the horizontal line so you can see there is a horizontal line and the HTML is below that line this HTML text is below that line so these are the differences between break tag and the horizontal tag HR tag so the BR let me write it B BR is a break and break line okay or line break whatever you want to say break line or line break is I think much better line break sorry I have many other things and each 
HR is horizontal line. Okay. Hope it is clear to you until now. Let's go to an other something else. Okay. What we are going to do next? These are the tags we were using in HTML4 also. Okay. Now in HTML5, we use more semantic tags. So what are the semantic markups or semantic tags? Okay. Semantic tags or we can say semantic markups. Semantic markups. I'm so sorry. Actually, I was working with some projects and I have used some font awesome icons so that um, it is just appearing here. Sorry for that. Okay, let me delete this one first. And now we are going to learn about the semantic tags or semantic markup. So what is this semantic markup? Okay, the semantic markup is, let me get rid of this. I just don't want to see semantic markup. Okay. For the beginning or just to start or just to learn, you can use Notepad or Notepad++ also or a Sublime Text Editor. Um, as I've told you that I am using the VS Code Editor for all of my work and I am used to of this so I prefer to use this VS Code Editor. Um, for, your, um, for your convenience you can use whatever code editor you like. Okay, We are just learning so any code editor will work for this. The, the semantic tags they add some extra information to the pages uh, like they are not um, they are not just with uh, with some uh, acronyms or with some abbreviations. They are like the we if we want to add some semantic tag. Like let me give you the example in HTML4. Mostly, mostly not all of us we use div tag a lot. Still, we use this div tag a lot, but it was uh, like it was a part of for HTML4, but then after in HTML5, in despite of this div tag, articles are introduced. So mostly now people they use articles despite of div. But people, it's it's up to you. If you want to use div, you can go with that. It's not restricted. Uh, but I'm just explaining you that div, the these tags, these are. And just the tags and these article or aside or navigation or nav all these tags are the semantic tags okay these um, something which is written in a full form okay we can say that these are the semantic tags so let me delete it and write as we can see the example of a semantic tag like let's go and write a p tag the paragraph tag and in here I can use strong and prohibited pro and then I should say prohibited area area mm, pedestrians are not allowed or cars are cars are private cars are not allowed it would be better private cars Private cars are not allowed. I think I missed a prohibited. Uh, yeah, there is a spelling mistake in my prohibited. And it's not prohibited. I think it's prohibited. Prohibition and prohibit. Prohibited area. Okay, okay yeah. I, I mistook here prohibited area okay 
let's save it go back to the browser so you can see it's prohibited area this prohibited is bold like it is strong it is prominent mm, it is prominent to this text okay it, and this text is just a normal text but this is bold or this is strong so it is it means that it is notifying or it is getting attention of the user that there is something that I don't have to do so this is this prohibited here to make it like this I have used the strong tag this is strong tag is a semantic tag of HTML5 okay let's move on and there is another tag em or emphasize okay so this would be like um, I should say let's get into and let's say um, the world of coding okay I don't know what I'm writing but I think you it's good to make you understand so here I use the em the emphasize tag before this and before this or I just wrap this actually the world text mm, let me make a space here okay okay now it is more readable so let's get into the world this the word uh, text it is emphasized that it is showing that it is something there is something different between this text so we use this em tag to make uh, to emphasize something in our web page okay to emphasize over something in, in our web page let's delete it and go to the quotations now what are the quotations okay it should be in h1 my apology and okay two types of quotations we have a block block quote and uh, the quotations normally quotation marks now what is the block quote the block quote the blo block quote is something that you get a quotation suppose that you are you are if you know about Dalai, Dalai Lama or um, Oshu or Sadhguru or Cha Shakespeare or Charles Dickens whoever the writer is you want to get the some of their things in your writing so what you can do you just use this block quote tag and you have to write site okay then HTTPS or HTTP and then just site name suppose I, I don't know if it exists I'm just writing uh, like let me let me help you okay let me go with this text HTTP and then Wikipedia dot org okay and slash wiki or who or how like any any page from Wikipedia okay you got it you mention it here and then within this paragraph tag you just say that have you ever it's not you are seeing actually it's what you have got from uh, from this resource from this Wikipedia site and you are using this text within your site within your page and to make it like to give them credit or to make it um, prominent or to make it 
know that this is not from you in the, it has some other resource uh, you can or it is a, a, it is something different or you know something like which is which is in the quotation mark or which is in the quote like something like golden words okay so you can use that thing have you heard, ever heard about like, let me just write black hole black hole not home black hole so this thing this thing would appear in a quote or in some specific manner can you see this it is not attached with this line it is in the middle like it is between like it is from somewhere else or it is from other sources you have received or it is showing that it is in a block code it is something something in golden words okay or these are the golden words somebody has to know so this is the main purpose of the block code uh, i will try to explain you this in a with more better and um, efficient examples in the future lessons okay so if you didn't understand um, my apologies I will uh, but I'm sure that I will explain you this in could be in our project or in our future um, in our future exercise or in a future lessons okay there is another thing the quotation mark if we want to use the quotation of anything uh, quotation mark around anything then we can use q tag and how we can use that let me see i am enjoying learning and here let me see q html okay now you can see the results so they are these are this HTML is wrapped around the quotation mark and the second difference of this it like it is written in a paragraph tag this was also written in a paragraph tag but it was within a block code and this isn't within a block code it is we just use simple code the quotation marks around this HTML so you can see the difference between the block code and the normal quotation marks hope you got my point i'm trying to explain it um, as much as i can but if you didn't understand let me know in the comments below and i will surely get back to you and help you to understand this okay now let me delete this code and just let me write here abbreviations okay every abbreviations okay in HTML4 we people use acronyms also but now in HTML4 we only use abbreviation sorry in HTML5 we only use abbreviations we don't use acronyms so what are the abbreviations the normal abbreviations we use in our normal or day-to-day -day life these are no more different than that so there is a tag abbr okay and it has opening and closing tag so if i want to say there is a way to write this i want to abbreviate the title professor okay title professor and here i should just say pro p l o f professor the short form of professor the abbreviation okay and here i should say john john smith okay professor john smith let's save okay there is a I didn't save it okay now professor John Smith it doesn't affect here on uh, on the visibility of your page but it has some effects at the back okay so it's just uh, the, the abbreviation tag we use to abbreviate the 
name or the titles or whatever we want to abbreviate, we can use this abbreviation tag. Okay, citations and definitions. Let me delete this and here I just want to write citations and definitions. Now what are these citations and definitions? If you remember when I was using a block code, I have used the word cite. So the cite means the reference of a piece of work. Okay. Remember, as I've told you that uh, I've just mentioned some imaginary web of uh, imaginary link of Wikipedia by using this cite word. So this site is actually it's a tag, and it it is opening and closing, and like it has a closing tag too. Let me see site okay and it is for the reference okay this it is for the a reference to refer to some towards something or someone just we reference and uh, just we use this site tag and how we use it it depends actually but now we are using it within our paragraph tag the same way as we use we are using the other tags so it is for reference from any page book magazine magazine whatever okay but where whatever the source is that it's not matter right now the matter is this site tag so if we go can you see this link uh, sorry this style reference mostly this reference was uh, used to for author names or uh, some sort of um, like if you are developing a website you would like to prefer your name in a footer section so you just use something like this something stylish so this citation it helps you to get the the style or make it prominent that it is getting or it is referred from some other place or some other source okay i hope i'm explaining you well and uh, and I'm, I'm hoping that you are getting it also so now the next thing is definitions the definition tag and the source for explaining all these things I'm using Ducket book Ducket HTML and CSS book and uh, I'm using his book to make you um, to make you understand these all these things okay so let's go and write uh, write something about cyber truck okay and they are introduced by Elon Musk so cyber truck and let me say VFM it has opening and of course close tag and here I should say Elon Musk okay and just write order okay let's save it go back to the browser and you can see that Elon Musk or the founder is in the this is wrapped between these DFN or definition tag so you can see this it is written I'm sorry I didn't save it and it is not um, okay now it is okay it's better so this is with with the site tag this reference is um, we use a site tag here and for this Elon Musk we have we use the definition or DFN tag okay hope you got my point and I am successful to help you in this so bye for now
I will prepare some other lessons of HTML and soon we will go to the fun part which is CSS actually I'm also not feeling so you know I'm not enjoying an HTML because things are very black and white but it is necessary to prepare the markup and everything later depends upon our markup so um, I hope you like the video if you like the video do hit the subscribe button to get more in the future and secondly if you don't understand anything or if you want to know anything just let me know in the comments below I'll get back to you soon see you next time hasta la vista ciao ciao